Oh, hello! I'm Ron Charles. You may know me as the most spellbinding figure in the book world. More than 15 years ago, Susanna Clarke published a novel about two magicians called The Strange Case of Jonathan Norell. Some critics called it Harry Potter for adults. But it wasn't. It was really hard. More like Charles Dickens or those other old books with all the characters and stuff. Clarke's many fans have waited a long time for her second novel, and now, finally, it's here. The other side. It's called... Prancy. Piranesi. Prancia. Piranesi. Piranesia. Giovanni Piranesi was an 18th century Italian artist who created a collection of etchings called the Imaginary Prisons, which later influenced the work of M.C. Escher. <laughs> do, 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 can't touch this! M.C. Escher. Well, your Italian could use some work. Perenzia takes place in a surreal palace so large the tides pouring through the roof. What the heck was that? The tides pouring through the many rooms. Tides! Tides flow in along the ground. Nobody says the tide flew at me six feet off the ground. Well, I'm sure it was clearer in the original Italian. Anyhow, in this large watery palace where the tides come in along the ground are an infinite number of statues covering all the walls. And the only person here is a mysterious young man named Perini. We shall call him P. Fishing for food and burning dried seaweed to stay warm, P is like that famous story of Christopher Robinson trapped on the deserted Hundred Acre Island. Wait, do you mean Robinson Crusoe? But, surprise, P is not entirely alone in this strange house. P is periodically visited by the Other, who is a mysterious stranger. What, what? You can't say anything about the other. It'll spoil the plot. But Dawn, I'm a book reviewer. How am I supposed to write 1,200 words without spoiling the plot? Just write shorter. Nobody wants to read all that. Thank you, Dawn. That's, that's very helpful. In any case, I'm not really sure what happens because it's not very clear here. It's mostly just blurbs by people I've never heard of, like Neil Gaiman and Lev Grossman. And besides, the story of a man trapped indoors, separated from everyone forever and ever, what possible relevance could that have for us today? For the Totally Hip Video Book Review, I'm Ron Charles, hoping all your reading experiences are statuesque.